Well, we're here today to open this new facility in St Ives. It's £1.2 million uh, invested into new changing rooms and a third generation artificial pitch, of which the Football Foundation has put £500,000. 30 years ago, this was just a complete wasteland. Um, and to see the way it's been developed over the years has been fantastic because it's not just football, it's hockey, it's cricket. Um, but this latest investment has just topped everything off in terms of football. So it's a wonderful investment from, uh, from the Football Foundation and, and the local council. The facilities we had were overcrowded. Um, we had seven changing rooms, 11 pitches, uh, and with the mixture of gender and age groups, we had to be very careful to make sure that uh, we timetabled very carefully the activities that we had on. There was a clear need for more changing facilities and also an all-weather surface. Uh, the all-weather surface that we have is great for hockey, not so great for football. Uh, without this funding we simply wouldn't be able to accommodate the number of teams and the number of clubs and support the junior development in the way that we are able to now. It means so much, particularly something like this, a 3G pitch is going to be able to be used all the time in all weather conditions, even when it's freezing cold like today. Um, uh, kids, local kids, uh, adults, men, women, everybody can come down here and enjoy it all the time, um, get real benefit from it. And, and football's so important, I mean, it brings everybody together, it gives kids and ideas about winning and losing in the right way, about the importance of teamwork and working hard. Um, so, yeah, the local community is going to absolutely love maximum use of this facility. Football. I started at local football as an 18 year old and I'm quite often changing at the side of a car or something like that on local uh, playing fields and then ultimately after 20 years I made it all the way up to the, the ultimate game I guess at the World Cup final um, but having been heavily involved in local football and seeing how passionate people are about football and what important part it plays in people's lives at first hand then uh, I'm always keen to stay involved and encourage other people to, uh, to get the most out of their football. It makes a huge difference, it makes a huge impact. Uh, this sort of facility wouldn't be possible without the support of the Football Foundation. And the amount of investment that we've made in this facility is, is absolutely huge. Um, and I think everybody here is so grateful for the Football Foundation's efforts in, in making this possible.